Hey folks, let's talk about stage line for storyboard artists. This is also called the 180 rule. So before we get started, I just want to say that a lot of this is subjective. There's no one right way to do this. And a lot of this has to deal with your preferences with how you tell stories visually. So take all this with a grain of salt. So let's go ahead and start with the two character setup. Go ahead and just imagine making a line that passes through both your characters. Next, what you want to do is pick one side and you leave all your cameras on that side. Your cameras will film those characters from that side of the line. Here's another angle that represents that relationship and one more. Next, what you want to do is to block in all of your shots by doing some drawing or sketching. I like to use letters to identify the characters and numbers to identify the cameras. And here's a little reveal of the five thumbnail sketches that correspond to the five cameras that are in the diagram. So maintaining that stage line, no matter where I film, will make sure that Mr. Incredible's on the right, Maui's on the left. So here's another stage line example where the cameras are supposed to be in the blue area. Let's go ahead and introduce another character and let's highlight that original stage line in that area we just talked about. Next, we're gonna go add in a new stage line in yellow in between two characters, like the new one and one of the old ones. Here's another angle that's gonna show that relationship. And then of course you could see both of the areas in blue and yellow. And then I'll just go back and create a diagram. So in this segment, what I'll do is I'll make some half circles to represent the stage lines. I'll go ahead and identify each character with letters. And then in my diagram, I'll go place a bunch of cameras. So in this last segment, I'm just gonna go off script and just kind of voice over some of these drawings that I'm doing. Just basically doing some thumbnail sketches. And you can see that I'm working on camera number four, which has Marshmallow off to the left. And then you can see that Maui is in the middle and then Mr. Incredible is gonna be on the right. I really like setting up a stage and line diagram like this because it helps with my left-right relationships. Also, what it does is it gives me a, a reason to add some variety. So with this segment, I'm drawing in uh, camera number three, which is kind of an over the shoulder, but you can see it's probably going to add to the story and maybe get Mr. Incredible to kind of talk to Maui. This is going to motivate the next shot where I choose camera five because I can go back and into a reversal and I can cut to show Marshmallow because maybe he's having some kind of a reaction. And then for the last drawing, I'll just choose number eight, which is a nice wide shot which reorients the audience and it kind of establishes again. Oh, okay, by the way, here's the three character setup. <laughs> so I know that was a lot to digest, but do me a favor, go and storyboard something with good stage line and three characters. Thanks for watching. Bye.